Welcome back, everybody. It's Chasing Meat with our special favorite guest, Denise. Brian. I'm Dawn. I'm Michael. And, <laughs> and okay. this is Chasing Meat. <laughs> anyway, good grief. I was like, I, know, I don't know, where do we put another guest? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I panicked. Casey. Mike. Yeah, oh, yeah, we needed Casey. Yeah, it was Casey the Wonder Dog. Oh, yeah. Casey the Wonder Dog. <laughs> We're gonna have to get a new picture of her, I think. Yeah, right. But you can't really get a picture of her because she sees you and she just goes gets all excited and mm -hmm. runs us over. But we'll cray. Yep. We're gonna have to get Bree to give us a new picture. Right. So anyway. Mm -hmm. Well anyways, welcome back you guys. Um we um decided we were gonna do another Okay, I'm gonna screw this up. What does my hat say? Pursuit, Pursuit Spirit. Spirit. Pursuit Spirits. We're gonna do another another video <laughs> with pursuit spirits in mind um we just recently went down to pursuit spirits to do the whole shebang where we excuse me <clears throat> where we um bottled our own they, bottle of they put us to yumminess mm -hmm. yeah and so we want mike and i we we have our picks that we that we both picked and bottled while we we're at that experience and we wanted denise and brian to to enjoy and taste it and see what they thought of our picks um and then i get to wear my new hat and if you haven't seen the video, click right here. Click right That's here. right. <laughs> or down here. Or down. <laughs> but anyway, you better talk because I'm kind of low on this. <laughs> All right. So. Um, <laughs> I know. Me, I I lost, me yeah, lost for words. And it's kind of like, what? <laughs> oh, it's right there. Bourbon, Bourbon Pursuit, Pursuit Podcast. The podcast. So they started off doing a podcast. Who's they? Um, Ryan and Kenny, and um, you like Kenny because he's uh, yes. he's a uh, he's guy? a spreadsheet he's okay. a pivot guy. Anyway, so they started a podcast, and then from there they started releasing you know just bottles to their groups, their Patreon members and things, and then they kind of went off. Um, and again, you'll see that in another video. Mm -hmm. But they went off and started. Well, let's start doing blends. So they. Worked with uh, three or four different distilleries, and they choose barrels from each one, and then they bring them in, and then Ryan will blend all of them uh, together to form a Pursuit United uh, bottle offering. And so when we were there at the whole shebang, they had eight tastings set up for us. So they had eight barrels. Now, they're not single barrels, it's just the blends in uh, uh, specific barrels, mm -hmm. based kind of finishing it, but the importance is what blend went into those barrels. So we tried eight. Uh, I ended up picking up a, a bourbon. Don and my nephew Mitchell. Um... What was that? Oh, you the picture, <laughs> Mitchell? <up> there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be thrilled. Um, selected a rye, the same rye actually. And then once we selected it from the offering on our table, we then got to go to the barrels and thieve each one and then fill up the barrels from the thieve. And mine took forever because there was only so much left in the barrel. But then we got to um, cork the bottle. Then we got to label the bottle. Then we got to put the neck tag on. Then we got to seal it. <laughs> Do yeah. all the things that you do to uh, yep. bottle a bottle? Yep. Got to put the little <laughs> taggy tag on. And then we got to personalize it with our own thing. Mm -hmm. Now, so the label machine there was only set up for the brown bourbon label. The green rye label you had to do put on by hand. Dawn was not supervised well. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she went through the bourbon bottling or labeling machine so hers had a uh this label on it so luckily because i was staying the next week to actually work for them um i got some of the right labels so came home and put on the correct label um, so you bottled it and you fixed the bottle yes nice nice but the final step now is what to drink it um, yes, to drink it. So, which one do you want to start with? They are they are all 108 because that's how they prove it. 107 plus one. Yes. Better, there we go. Better go with the rye. I, would I think, think so too. Right. You start with the bourbon. Yeah. 
It won't be fair to the rye. Maybe. So, this is pretty good rye. I picked a rye. I have a question. Why, and maybe we don't know, why do they do Pursuit with Spirits and then Pursuit United? Why is this not called? Uh, Pursuit Spirits is the company name. Pursuit United is the brand name. Okay, okay. Bourbon Pursuit, Pursuit is the <laughs> podcast yeah. name. They couldn't make it any confusing. Yeah. No, I get it. I do get it. It's just yeah. we just gotta practice, it, you know. Nice. Oh wow, oh, that, that was almost, good. That seems like that really could have knocked a bottle over. Had some heft to it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Yeah. So. Anyway. And that's what they look like. Mm. See, that's Kenny. Oh, and that's Ryan. Oh my gosh. We've only said that a hundred by jillion times in our. Oh, shh. Oh, that was kind of. That was kind of. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, let's not give it too much. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, thieving from the barrel. It seems like that. That took quite a while. I know you fast forwarded through your video. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it I, does take a while. Yeah. Part of it is. And that's a lot. Part of it is when you put the thief in, you've got to let it fill up and. So a lot of times we didn't let that time expire. My barrel was just low, so it was it was just always going to be a. But oh no! <laughs> did you let her do that all by I herself? I did. I don't listen, know why. Listen, she I'm said, practicing. Oh, no, I'm wait, goodness no, gracious! No, 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 I need it. <laughs> what a lush! Get some to Denise. <laughs> no. Listen, you know what? This I, is rye. I'm going I to, have plenty. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this one. <laughs> Well, look what you did here. Oh. See, honey, this is why I don't let you pour. I'm sorry. I should have poured it for her. No, that's okay. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I can do a good job. I don't know what it is. <laughs> anyway. Interesting. So, anyway, okay. yeah. Um, so, we have to find out. I don't know if we if Whoa. we wrote down what, because the A, this one is, what is it? See, batch see, eight, about? C, D, hey, stop, stop, stop. Right. I'm reading. I'm trying to get the label straight. Oh. It says barrel 8CDA01, and, and um, we'll have to look that up again to figure out. It has something to do with the date and right. the month and all that yeah. jazz. came off sweet, but it's got the earthy note in the nose, too. You know? Already? Already? Well, I mean, it's it's just hiding yeah. in there. It's like grassy a little bit. Yeah. You know? yeah. But mm -hmm. there's sweetness, too. It is. That's why, that's what mm -hmm. I got initially, yeah, too. It's, sw it's sweet. sweet, but yet you get a little grass in the end. So. Hey, aren't we supposed to be warming up with vodka? No, because that would be just not good. We, you know what? I'm willing to take two sips of this to warm up. But we should know better. We always forget. Hmm. Yeah, 107 is going to taste hot right off the bat. 108. Oh, 108. Sorry. 107 plus one. Okay. <laughs> she confused me. I did totally. It's good. Yeah. 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 So I what agree. Are you a little on bit. I I agree with Brian's comment on a little bit of grassiness in there, but it does smell sweet. It's yeah. I get I'm the sweet not really too. sure what the sweetness I'm. What that is, though. Mm -hmm. At first, I was gonna say like a kind of a grapey, but as I keep yeah, that's, nosing it, it's kind of going away. That's what a, that's what I, I'm sorry. Um, I think that's what Mitchell and I picked up. We we thought it was like a grape note to it too. Okay, well, almost like tobacco though, kind of mm -hmm. after you smoke it a while, right? I yeah, because it's changes. changing as it's I changing. keep yeah. nosing it. Yeah, yeah, I always forget. It's marinade. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. It, it has a strong nose though. Yeah. What did the, what did the guy do that we watched today? He went like this. I don't know. He don't careful. Holy it went crap. out his nose. He totally did. He's gonna pass out. Yeah, I get nothing on. He was, Yeah, he totally did that. So we yeah. were just watching the episode of Brutal, and that's what the gentleman did when he went down. And that was to the Sugar taster Land. guy. Yes, I think the yeah. master distiller was actually. Oh, was it? I didn't. I, I didn't it catch it when he. I don't know. We were taking a nap. Did you do that rubber <laughs> cement in school? Oh, no. No, we used, to, we used to make little balls out of it and bounce the balls. Oh my what school did you guys go to? I didn't do Northridge. it. Northridge. <laughs> yeah, leave, leave that part out. We're going to get in trouble. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I just I just really find it very pleasant, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Anyway, cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's going to take a while. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Two mm -hmm. quick drinks. <laughs> now, up? on the taste, I'm getting a perfume. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm still feeling the heat in my mouth. Getting a little bit of a in the that, right away too. That minty thing, eucalyptus, or you know that I get with rye. 
I can never identify it, but it, I always say it's some sort of mint or, or mm -hmm. something, but but it's definitely got a nice sweet flavor, mm -hmm. which is why we yep. we all like it. Kind of like the black licorice. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Kind of mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. anise mm -hmm. or anise. Anise. Oh. Star anise. Don't do that when I have liquid in my mouth. I didn't say the funny pronunciation oh. of it. <laughs> Yeah, the licorice is up front, but it goes right there. Oh, wow. It goes right to heat. I mean, yeah. It's... But you know what? The licorice, to me, when you said, now that you say that, mm -hmm. when I was when I chewed on it a little longer, I, I the licorice mm -hmm. is left in my mouth. It's really pronounced mm -hmm. after you do that. Mm. Thank you. Those are the words I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can tell it's like, dry. Though. It's dry. Yeah, it is drying. It's dry. It is it's very dry. dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is right, what I love. I like, I mean, I don't say love, but I like a dry wine, so I don't mind that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's normal for, that's how I mm -hmm. know it's a rye. It's a dry, yeah, it's dry it's but dry. kind of a oily. Yeah. It's a little oily, it mm. seems to me. Yeah, it's got kind of a viscosity yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I was really surprised that I picked a rye. Yeah, not me to too, be, when yeah. I was watching you. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, what? She's picking a rye? I know. I'm like, what the <laughs> heck is going and on? And Mitchell did it too. I know. <laughs> Stop. You probably yeah. like the heat though. Yeah, I I, I think, Good you know, we, you know, Denise and I like the high proof, but I think we're starting to come back down off the mm -hmm. high proof back down a little bit. And I feel like this one five to one ten range is yeah, this more is good. settled. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should have tasted this when it was 116. Mm. <laughs> No. Right out of the barrel. Well, it'll be interesting, and I know you guys have already done it, but to see if that's as hot mm -hmm. at a 108. Mm -hmm. It tastes pretty hot for a 108. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But not for long. You know, I don't think really. I'm still feeling it a oh, little yeah? right oh, here. Yeah. It's got a good, a long finish oh, yeah. Kentucky Huggish. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, I mean. It just varies, right? I mean. Yeah. No, it, absolutely. It's the first one yeah. out of the gate, too. Yeah. Let's go back to it afterwards and yeah. see. Right. Well, I'm getting now, mind you, we just had barbecue <laughs> ribs, so no. so was, that yeah. flavor still Maybe. in our craw, crow, craw, throat, throat. <laughs> so you had yeah, some it's... sweetness, so that might change your mm, your taste. Yeah, a maybe. Little bit. And again, we it wasn't like uh, we didn't like it wasn't like a barbecuey like ribs. It was just kind of yeah. There wasn't much sauce. Ribs. It was just Nothing smoky. Really super, uh, yeah. So that wasn't too bad. Exactly what you should pair a good whiskey with. Protein? Ribs. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> protein. Protein. Well, like I said, we always try to we try to eat, drink or eat some protein before we do these tastings. Don't want, the carbs just goes right through. Yep. Yeah, you just yeah. soaks up the alcohol. And, you know, the carbs are sugar and the sugar just... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I've seen you guys had some rice the other night, too. So you've been drinking a little more rye? Yeah. Well, yeah. Just because we're finding more that we like. So we're trying more. We're you know we're we're not afraid to approach a rye. Yeah, the rye's up. There's a lot. There's a lot more variation in the rye these days. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. it used to be like the rye's were just I don't know, just like okay. a pickle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And I get no pickle. No pickle yeah, either. exactly. That's what I mean. I was yeah. like, no dill. No at dill. All. No. No. Yeah. And a lot of times, out with a a rye, I'll get some sort of grassy note or 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 hay ish note. Yeah. You know that type of grass, not. Yeah. Cutting the long grass. Um, although I have gotten that before. But, yeah, for sure. um, yeah, yeah, this is none of those. This is, yeah. it's just the Brian, you did a very good job blending this. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you you got the, the good notes out of all the different blends. Well, Do you know what the blend is? Um, If you go on the website, it'll, it'll tell. Oh, and okay. I think we'll if we had, no, actually it wouldn't. Um. Yeah, you have to go on the website. Okay, yeah. so they say. But yeah, they're transparent. They, okay. they tell well, you what they, are, they yeah. what they use. Okay. And, and honestly, I don't think during the whole shebang we didn't really go into that kind of depth. Really, they were like, okay, there's these are those the eight little tr things to try, and they give you the the barrel numbers and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of tough. I guess as oh, you now probably saw, we just they wanted you to be mm -hmm. kind of quiet with your thoughts, you know. Mm -hmm. and, well, and you and had you, a lot. Yeah, and and we warmed up with something too. Yeah. So we're like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah, now first... I know why you had to eat yeah. afterwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, yeah. Man, there was a whole frogger going across the street there. To... Oh, my gosh. Well, we really wanted to eat beforehand, but we really wanted to show Mitchell, like, old Forester mm -hmm. mixtures and stuff, so we were kind of repressed for time. But... Yeah. 
Yeah, we did have okay. that. Yeah, but so walked in. The but are you surprised though? How I mean, old how flavorful this yeah. is being and a ride. And they had that. <laughs> we we couldn't okay. figure out. We we you know we were walk walking towards the entrance, and all of a sudden, this group mm. just ran and with a baby, no less, ran. It's I got bumped. It's like what the hell? <laughs> and it's like well, they had you know oh. specials that they had just put on the on the shelf. So it's like it wasn't oh. really a gift shop only thing. It was just like you know like they're doing now. Everybody is like, what's on the shelf today? Mm -hmm. at Buffalo yeah. Trace, you know. Yeah, but I've, I mean, I have one. Bree bought me one in yeah. Colorado, but that's the only one I've ever seen. Yeah. In rye. So. I know. That's why we're kind of like, because again, we always see say, we're not rye people. But in all fairness, we're trying to be more open minded with rye. And then I said, when I found this one, I was like, mm, I kind of like this one. Well, so. it'll be interesting to taste that one, though, because of course, well, I mean, we haven't, we were going to open ours with uh, Bree and them since yeah. they bought it. But, yeah. um, they're supposed to be like the best rye. Uh -huh. We can open this. Well, maybe we we'll do yeah. that after. It really, it, it really is. The junkies said it was like yeah, phenomenal. like yeah. phenomenal. And that's why it's hard to find. Yeah, so. right. Well, it's it's really oh, also fun to find something so we're, 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 at was, this price too. Mm -hmm. So was, that's the okay. well, yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, you paid <laughs> a good price. Yeah. yeah, we just bought one. Shock. <laughs> So anyway, I guess I need to finish this. See, well, you can finish that while I tell my story. Oh, you guys. So when I was there the following week after the whole shebang experience that done that <laughs> really <laughs> you were not fast enough <laughs> just kidding go ahead so cha -cha -cha. <laughs> so we were bottling all the the different blends and they um they have a program called pups which is i kept having the pursue united private selection yes Anyway, so that's their, you know, basically their, their store picks, their, you know. So one of them was for the junkies. So it was their junkies that we were bottling. Mm -hmm. So the cool. bourbon junkies. The bourbon junkies. So if you get one of their private blends, my hands were on every single bottle. What? Because I filled every single bottle. Personally? Yes, personally, because I was the one manning the bottling station. Bottling? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bottling. It, it was good. It was I was good. the one putting the bottles in the in the nipples to, to fill. Oh, <laughs> you somehow had to figure out how to put the word nipples in a video, didn't you? Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, if it ever comes out, we can tell you it's very good. Right? Yes. <laughs> so, oh, okay. So, are we ready for number two? Yeah, but you're not pouring. Okay. Can you give me at least the same amount that I had the last one? Yeah. Okay. I just don't know. Here's the hard part. I keep telling them they need pull tabs. Yeah, but that keeps them from. I mean, or we should have, is, is it should have done this part it? off camera. Yeah, because yeah. you know, Jeff, grumpy, grumpy coach, grumpy coach be hates happy about that. watching us undo bottles, open out. bottles. You just have to edit. You could just, you could just make that video go fast. Go. It's perfect. I just got to get yeah. started. Yeah. I remember when we were with you guys though, well, the first time we ever grabbed a bottle of Pursuit. I'm telling my story. Hold on, Pursuit United. We were, I think, the four of us were at Benny's in Illinois. And my son, oh, oh yeah. this is a bottle from my bourbon podcast I that I watched. It, I thought, Remember? Yeah. I know we're like, what, who are these people? Or like, just because we don't have it doesn't mean we need to grab it. But we really do like it. That's how it is, though. It Remember is. when I bought my Green River, you guys said, what's that? I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now it's good. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. And come find you need two to play the video game. Or not the video, the oh, quarter the game. <laughs> quarter game. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Game. Oh, my gosh. All right. Anyway. Oh. Whoopa. Oh, yeah, that was kind of. This will be better. Oh, look. I didn't notice this, but the it's it the bottle it says Pursuit. Yeah. I didn't oh, yeah. notice that. That's cool. They didn't even point that out. I just had to figure that out. It says Pursuit. Pursuit. That's wasted money. Nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's it very was, cool, though. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure yeah. there's extra cost to that. Oh, we'll have to go to the sheet. Go to the, of course the, there was. To the third tab. See mm. if that standard cost you brought through to the front. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Here, you pour mine, Mom. <laughs> Oh, good, you didn't even give me good some girl. Of it. Good girl. That's a good girl. That's what we say to Casey. That's a good girl. All right. All right, hopefully that. Yeah. That, I think that's. Try, yeah. Yep. All right. It's a little off. Because they're in the back, they don't come. Right, to I know. The I that. That's yeah. why I tried to look at it to see. Yeah. So, nose is not as strong to me as the other it's one. It's not as strong, but they're, they're it is. similar. I mean, I, oh, smell, wow. I smell something different in there. I do, for sure. Oh, yeah. That's grassier to me. Yeah, a little bit. But um, I, I immediately I smell brown sugar. We always say yeah, that. Brown, brown sugar, sugar, caramel, you know. Brown sugar, but there's still that grassy note. I think, mm -hmm. I think, ah, maple. I mean, 
Are you getting? I, I don't get a lot of sweetness. I got some maple in there. Mm. I get more sweet off of the rye yes, than this one. Me too. I get more just dark stone fruit, you know, like dates yeah. or um, yeah. Uh, what are those other more ethanol brown this. thingies? Seems like there's more ethanol in this one. Maybe a little bit. Nose. Yeah. Yeah. The nose. Mm-hmm. We'll find out. Yeah, on this, I tell you this one. I know this wasn't pop. This one was popular because the barrel Mike was thieving from it, which took him a lot yeah. more to, to fill his bottle. So everybody liked. So it was really popular. Mm. All right. Okay. Yeah, ready? Cheers. Ready. Yep. Mm. Well, it's sweeter than I thought, though. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm getting because then you're gonna be like, "Oh, Denise." <laughs> it smell like laundry room. <laughs> I'm getting balloon. Or railroad ties. <laughs> Did you say balloon? Mm -hmm. yeah, no, Denise. Are you? I get what you're saying. Mm. I, I was going to say it, but nope, I, I get, you were going to say it. But. I get no, grape I and it's some fruit no. stripe gum. No, I don't get no grape. It's not, the dry, it's not the balloon you're thinking, though. It's just like the dry... Like when you get the... Those balloons you used to blow up as a kid. And yeah, the, the and the taste of that. Yeah. Inside, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting I that. Understand. But I tell you what, it's to me... Uh, it's not drying, but it has that... It's, it's not a drying mouthfeel, but it's still drying. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I guess, kind of, you know. Yeah. yeah. But I don't, I don't get the squeaky teeth like I yeah. usually get with tannins that dry. Yeah. Is that a high rye though, man? Mm -hmm. I don't know. So it's still, like you said, it's drying. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know what I like about that? It, to me, this one. Teeters on being a little too sweet for me, hmm. but it's kind of a nice, nice balance. Yeah. Uh, I like the sweetness. I know you like sweet, so. Hmm. That's. Is that confuse you now? The two between the two. Yeah, I mean this. This is not really my profile. I don't think. I mean, I, I, I'm blown away that I'd pick a rye over the bourbon. Did it? See, <laughs> I know, right? Um. So yeah. What so, does that remind me of? There's a yeah. Probably, it's good though. I mean, it's probably, 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 uh, oh, like an architect or maybe, something. Maybe, maybe that old. Uh, What's the one that you think that you yeah. Know, yeah. The, the one from uh, the bourbon van that we bought. Oh, old fifty five. Old fifty five. Yeah, it yeah, reminds yeah, yeah, me gotcha. of that. Oh, huh. Mm -hmm. What kind of old fifty five was it? Do you remember? Bottle and bond. So I okay. Okay. No, there we go. Yeah, that you guys one. have the bottle. We bought the same bottle. Okay. <laughs> probably, probably low. That's still pretty. See, to me, there. it's one a, of those it's two. Too, it's too sweet for me. Really? After my second one, yeah. I mean, I would drink it. I probably would have to put it over, put over over ice or rocks or something because it's just it would dilute a little bit more for me. Mm -hmm. That one drinks hot too, though. Isn't it? Is it? Mm-hmm. No, I agree. Higher than one hundred eight. You think so? I think both of them were hotter. Yeah. I mean, if I was if I was picking proofs, I would have. I mean, I'd be like 115 or... You know, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, 120. I mean, that's... See, I don't get the heat on this one at all. Really? Or, yeah. Sure. I don't well, know. I mean, I don't know why, but maybe it's just maybe it's just my taste buds right now. What are you doing tomorrow? No. <laughs> <laughs> doing Helping repairs. our son. <laughs> doing repairs at Brock's house. Oh. oh. You want us to get you out of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please excuse Brian and Denise. Oh, my God. Signed Epstein's mom. <laughs> oh, my is that that's just so that's a reference from welcome back cotter just for you youths youths welcome back mm. i know <laughs> wonder what the age is on that i mean it tastes a little it tastes a little okay i mean it's got the the ages I... are pretty good on all, all of these most of most well here's how they pick their their barrels it's six four two and one i believe because they want to have a, a mix. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's six, four, two, one. It might be eight, six, four, and one, but it's a range like that. And then from the same distillery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I know they have, they had a couple barrels um, that they had gotten in, which they didn't blend. I don't think, I think it was just, um, actually, it was a single barrel, but it was like a 12 year or something. Yeah. Um, so. I don't know, but between these two, this is the first two 
sips of the night. It is like um, Pursuit United hot in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, just I'm it's warm. Hot. I'm hot. warm. I was, yeah. I agree with it. For 108, I felt safe, but I yeah. think they drink hot. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually, this is drinking harder than that. I thought that one was, but this one's just. Yeah, this one's hotter than that. Yeah. I think, oh, I think, I think it's, uh, for me, I keep thinking it's, it's, this one's hotter, but it might be just because we drank this first. Right. Yeah. So, I but, think the Rhino okay. is, is the winner, though. But Good I think, job, Dawn. I think 108 mm -hmm. is like kind of a nice, is, is a nice mellow, a nice. It's a perfect, proof. Proof, perfect. yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was, I, I was really, again, I'm really surprised. And there's nothing wrong with the one that Mike picked. It's just it's too sweet for me. Mm -hmm. So, but again, and you guys, as you know, we do a lot of bourbon tastings, like, and we will try different things. And it, it was kind of hard to pick between all those different ones. But they were all good, number one. Number two, they were all kind of close. Yeah. Um, but you had a lot I kept of going samples. from. Yes. Yeah. Was this. You picked seven. Mm hmm. I think I picked. Four. 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 Yep. But it was. For me, it was between four and like eight or something. Yeah. There was like two that I was yeah. going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. But I think. I don't know that. I don't know. I would say, I don't know if I would mix these with anything. But. I feel like I'm to the point now in our whiskey journey that <laughs> I'm like I don't mix I don't mix it with anything ever really anymore unless it's Booker's because it's really hot and I like yeah. to mix it with a Coke or something. Yeah, the only thing I the only thing I'm at this point mixing things with is is either Old Granddad or um, Heaven Hill or uh, not Heaven yeah. Hill but um. What do you like for your you mean for like your old fashioned? Yeah, my old mix? fashions and my mixed drinks and yeah. things. So. You, should, you should try mixing a rye sometime though. We had well the what's the uh, the one rye, which one we did? the Kentucky which, which one we did did we mix that was the really Kentucky um, no Rittenhouse cream of Kentucky cream of Kentucky. oh you did oh that. yeah the cream of we Kentucky rye that? That, that was good, good. Oh, that was a rye oh was yeah. It? yeah yeah ours was oh, a rye okay. the okay. Yeah. it was yeah. so good I mean nice. it's expensive bottle to well kind of mix yeah but, but well I want to try a rye Rita because Kenny and Ryan just recently went to Barstown you know for a hoity toity invite thing and they were doing they rye, rye Rita yeah and uh so I'll have to try that sometime but you know I'm not I, I, I've never really thought about doing rye in a cocktail like an old-fashioned or a Manhattan like I like to drink sometimes but, yeah sometimes they just they go well you wouldn't think they would just try it right yeah you try it and they're like well that's really good I mean yeah. it changes mostly I don't try a lot of cocktails just because of all the sugar the extra ingredients in yeah. it so that's why I think I just mostly just drink it neat or over rocks mm. Ours was just with Sprite, but oh, yeah. it made a huge difference. Yeah. I mean, but Mike's is more complex. Yeah. That's more simple, but I would yeah. still pick the rye. Mm -hmm. Three rice. I like the flavor. That's like fine. Flavor. That's fine. You know, we all have our choice. Yeah, it's right. But anyway, okay. So we just kind of bantered on and just whatever. Bottom line is we, um, these are the two bottles we picked on our, the whole shebang. You guys should really do this experience. It's really cool. Um, I hope it sticks, that sh the whole shebang experience sticks around. Yeah. It's like I said, it's not hoity-toity at all. It's super intimate. It's super fun. It's like two hours. Small group, yeah. And and they're in the process of working on getting a tasting room down in Whiskey Row. It'll be interesting yeah. to see how that that will end up being. But I, it probably has to be a little more structured, a little more fluffy. You know, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. I hope, I'm hoping they keep yeah. it just like it like I, it was. Because yeah, remember, great. your your description was it's not hoity-toity. It's not hoity-toity you know, it's, at it's all. It's authentic. Yeah, it was, and it was fun. It yeah. was super fun. Tim um, and Joe, you did a great job. Yeah, except for the unsupervised part. Yeah, legal. which was, which actually was really kind of fun. It really was. Um, so, and I would say we almost would end here, but do we not have another one we're going to surprise them with? We might have one or two surprises. Let's just do the one for sure. So when we were down here, not that we only tried eight barrels, we <laughs> actually got a chance to try their double oak, and so um, we're going to try double oak. Sweet. Okay. Do we know where it's at? We like double oak. Oh, anyway, Denise Rowe loves wood for double oak. I oh. love wood for it. It's so hard to beat that, though. So which one is that one? Mm. Blue label. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Is this it? <laughs> yep. Is that it? Is this a double oak series? It's got a green label. It says the oak collection. Nope. That's not it. It might be this one. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. It was white. It's. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is the one that uh, we bottled. Okay, so. Can move these apart. Um, yeah, move apart. So this bottle right here yeah. is their the double oak. Yeah, they just released us. Uh, 
So they teased us at our tasting mm -hmm. with a, a little at the end. It was so good. So when I got to bottling for them, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we didn't do it Monday. Mm. <laughs> we thought we might be able to get it done Tuesday, but then we had malfunctions with all the equipment. Then we had to, we were going to do it Wednesday. We came in Wednesday, and the pivot guy picked the wrong label. Oh no! Don't tell him. Tell people that. And we put it on all of the bottles that were in the boxes. So we had to take all the bottles out of the boxes, take the labels off, put the right bottles labels on. So I'm thinking, oh, and I have to leave Wednesday. I can't stay the entire day, mm -hmm. so I have to leave at noon. And you'll see that video. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm thinking, oh, I'm never going to get this bottle. Oh, yeah. So luckily, we got a bottle. Got it done, huh? And I grabbed it. Um, I had everyone sign it. Um, as I did the other ones mm -hmm. that we got that day or those days um, But this is the double oak. This is the one if you get a chance to get their double oak Which might be coming up for sale this week This coming mm -hmm. week, so if you guys like this then well, well, I'll give you it. Get it <laughs> um, But anyway, or just come over to our house and drink or with come us. over to our house but, Go ahead. Uh, um, no, go ahead Oh, that, that, oh, that was you, good. You, some of that came on the cork. Sprayed everywhere. Yeah. It came out. We wasted it. We wasted it. Don don't like wasting it. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. Only Don pour. So. <laughs> yeah, poor Don pour. Don't no, do this I little Michael. Only Don pour. Oh. All your signatures be. I'm really. I'm. I'm very good interested. Good call. I'm, I'm very interested to see what you. You can pour. That's a good news. You nose. think. That's a good news. I know, yeah. right? Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah, no. This is so, so, so my profile. Oh, butterscotch, too. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> you see? You know what's funny? This is Brock's is... butterscotch candy. That's good to see yes. that. Oh, I was like, that was getting ready to say that. Brock's. I was like, Brock. I'm like, I'll wait till he's done. I was like, what does Brock have to do with it? He was making him work tomorrow. Yeah. I was going to say the exact same yep. thing. No, you know what? Okay, I'll give you something interesting. It's like I'm, sucking on that candy. I smelled <laughs> rhubarb. <laughs> Did you guys not smell rhubarb? It, to me, it smells what? like rhubarb. It smells like a little tart. I listen, like it. Listen, no. laundry room and railroad ties. Listen, I'm a Holler, give Rubar. me a break. <laughs> Dawn did have COVID and she, she's We're still, all butterscotch. She's still trying to get her taste buds Good back. Lord. <laughs> I don't know what Hopefully the taste is smelling, the... but uh, I, I love, love, it. love this. Yeah, it's, it's I do like this. When I was bottling this, it was it was like <laughs> very rich. Great germs on it. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's, it's rich. Okay. All right. Let's cheers. Right. Cheers. Cheers on that one. Ding. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh. Well, that's heat right up in my roof of my mouth immediately. Really? Really? That Dang one does no heat for yeah, me. I don't, I don't get so heat. weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, one of these That two, baby's just like so smooth. I, like, oh, <laughs> so... I felt nothing. <laughs> it's like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, I felt a little, but. I'm over here. Compared to those. Yeah, this is after dinner drink. She's on her own boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is dessert. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> you know, she's on that rhubarb kick. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, holy crap, I can't. Wait, wait, I'm, I need that peerless rhubarb one, I guess, apparently. I don't know. Oh, we no, I like it. Right? I do like it, but it's just like the oh, notes you guys are funny. saying, I'm like, you guys are in your own <laughs> world. But isn't this unique? I mean, this is, this is yeah. strong unique. I, I guess I get a little bit of her heat now on the second sip, but it's not, like, hot. Mm -mm. Mm. It's it just went right... To the top of my yeah, roof now. I mean, it was is there and gone. Yeah, if you swallow it wrong, because I got it just now. If you swallow well wrong or differently, yeah, that heat stays on the top of your mouth. Yeah, because I'm getting that right now. Right. Yeah, it's totally mellow but, now yeah. though. I mean, the second sip for me oh, is totally mellow. Good. Like, yeah, that must have been just that that initial. Yeah. Go. Okay, so here's the secret. Go to Seal Box. Don't say that yet. In this coming week, 
and and they have a limited number of bottles order it and and share them with your friends so so if you like this I'll there you but, have your code that's good okay I have a new favorite <laughs> see <laughs> oh we need to do this against well I, I'm sorry it beat her rye <laughs> I still like the rye a little better, but for me, it's, rye and Jenny, rye, this is great. rye great. double oak, and then your bourbon. Because like, yours is too sweet. Was this me. part of your guys' sampling? Um, because I'm surprised well, you didn't pick that. No, not not officially. It okay. wasn't part of the eight. Okay. When we're all done, yeah, we're like Tim eh. pulled out a little bottle. Said, "Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna tease you." He was mm. just trying to get us to finish yes. up so we can move on to the next group. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, "If you guys do this." Get finished. We can mm -hmm. have some more drinky poo. Because in fact, okay. in the video yeah. um, of the whole shebang, you'll you'll see him waving that, and then we we tried that, and we asked if he's going when we were going to bottle that. Yeah. And he thought, well, maybe Monday, maybe okay. Tuesday. Yeah. It was Wednesday at best. But so yeah, very. I, and I hope that people will be able to get this. Of course, you can't get it in here in Indiana. Um, yeah. Yeah, they don't have their distribution in Indiana because they can't get the distributors. But you can to get work it, with them. But you can get it through Steelbox. So I'm not you sure. You can get it through Steelbox, Steelbox, but I don't know if you can have them ship it to Indiana. I think you still can't because you still because you're still going through that. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. If not, I'll just have Kenny hold one for me and hey, I'll Steel. come down and get it. Oh, look at <clears> I wish I had the butterscotch flavor in the taste like it doesn't. The nose is like yeah butterscotch. Oh yeah, the yeah. nose is complete butterscotch, butterscotch broth. Not yeah. for me. It's yeah. still rhubarb. <laughs> No, I mean, it, it is like you know. I can I can I can understand where you get rhubarb because if yeah. if you don't get the sweetness part of that, it probably would be maybe like a rhubarb. Maybe I need one of those little butterscotch thingies to. We're going to do a video on that. We said this before. We're going to try all the things we keep nosing and saying, "Oh, it's butterscotch," or "It's poor." It's you know, blah blah yeah. blah. We need to try that again to kind of. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need. Maybe it's more. I need a refresher course. Because maybe you my need to lick like, one, so you know. The only one that I know is more butterscotch is the foolproof um, benchmark. Benchmark. Oh, yeah, no, that really? one's pretty. We have to yeah. get out the. There's a, a peerless rye and rhubarb that's labeled, described as butterscotch. Yeah, that's nice. Do um, we have it? Yeah. Mm, okay. Anyway, I, would love I was going to say it's over there, but we moved all that stuff, so it's in here somewhere. They might know where it's at better than we will. Be honest. It's still in the box. Oh, okay. That's a good one, though. Where's the box? Okay. Well, anyway, we're just rambling now because that's what we do. You should come over to my channel, Mumble Ramble, if you want to just ramble because that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this one, this one is made up of Kentucky, Tennessee, and New New York. Um, New York. Hmm. Okay. Um, Was that Widow Jane? No, it's not. It's, no, because... It's, it's nothing that you would know because they don't, they own, they're only contract. And it's the one that has the the address. Oh, the if you watch the previous video, yeah, you'll know you the would secret. know. Yeah, the secret. Gotcha, gotcha. It's like the Voldemort Distillery. And the New Tennessee York. one is not Dickel. Well, that's obvious. He got nipples in Dickel in the same video. All right. On that note, we're out, guys. <laughs> Good lord. Seriously. Wait, is, is Ryan's name on there? Yeah. Let me see if it matches my hat. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, I don't know. That doesn't look good. Like, where's you, Ryan signs? You're going to be on this. You're going to be on the... Uh, Let me see. Blue where's your Ryan yes. at? <laughs> I'm assuming C, Ryan C. So that's a C and an L. And this is Kenny Cole. He wrote Ken... It's like an A. I know. I, I watched some white stuff. Kenny Coleman. Those, are, those aren't even... Ryan Cecil and Kenny Coleman.